Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about curved fingers. Curving your fingers when you play helps your accuracy and your flexibility. Of course, the alternative is collapsing your fingers like this, which slows you down and can cause strain on your hand. So when you curve your fingers when you play, you can move quicker, you can play more in tune, and you can have more control over everything ranging from your intonation to your vibrato to your speed. So let's talk about what that looks like. If you're in first position and you put your first finger down, if you can see, my first knuckle, that is the one right above my fingernail, is over the string. So my finger is pretty curved here. It's the same for all of the fingers. I want to really, really curve my fingers around. In thumb position, it's the same idea, but even more pronounced. So if you put your first finger in thumb position like this, my second knuckle now is over the string and I'm really curving it. Now the tendency, of course, in thumb position, because it's difficult to press down, is to collapse the fingers because we think that that helps us. But what it actually does is, again, causes strain. We're trying to press down when really we can just use the weight of our hand and our arm to relax into the string and move our fingers the way that they naturally should. So how should we practice this? Slow it down. That's the first key. So if you're in first position, take two or three notes at a time and practice them very slowly. And what you want to focus on here is putting the notes or putting your fingers down exactly the way you want them to, that is curved. So let's go between one and two. You might even want to put your finger down and get used to that weight and then play. Now let's go between one and four. So you can do this just by itself. You can do it with scales and you can do it with exercises. You can also do this same thing in thumb position. So let's start on the octave G harmonic. I'm in solo tuning, so it'll sound up a whole step. So it'll be A instead, but for me it's G. Really isolate two notes at a time or two or three, whatever is comfortable for you. And slow it down so that you can focus on Putting your finger down, you want to focus on the action of putting your finger down and keeping it curved. Okay, so like I said, you can start with scales, you can start with just whatever notes you feel most comfortable with, and then move on to exercises, and then move on to your rep. So let's talk about how to practice this in your rep. If you're having a hard time, you're maybe curving your fingers in the lower positions, but not in the upper positions, take a passage from your rep and see if you can isolate in the same way that we just did. So let's just take a few notes. Let's take A, B flat, and C, and we'll do one, two, and three. a lot more time when you practice this on your own, but that's the general progression of how it should look. You want to focus on each note individually, the action in between each one, making sure your fingers are curved, and then slowly speed it up, and that might take a long time. So in general, this is not a quick fix. You're not going to be able to fix your curved fingers, or collapsed fingers, I should say, in a night. So don't be hard on yourself. It might take you months to improve this. But more than anything, you want to make sure that you just keep at it. It'll help you in the long run. It'll help you play faster. You'll play more in tune and your hand will thank you. So keep at it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment underneath the video. But until then, I will see you next time.